Hey, what's up? I'm Pierre Meunier. Welcome on my YouTube channel. So, if you are new on this YouTube channel, I'm making many videos about FPV drone and DLG gliders. It's a type of RC gliders. I will show it to you today. What is it? Simply, what is this type of glider? What is named DLG or F3K? So, let's go ahead and let's do that. So, just before uh, to start this video, if you want to, I have many videos about FPV and DLG uh, on my YouTube channel, so you can scroll down, you will see I have many many things, and if you don't find something, just ask me and maybe I will do a video about that. Today we talk about DLG F3K, I am with the Strike 3, which is a small model, so it's a mini DLG because the standard size is 1.5 meter wingspan and this one is 1 meter wingspan. A model like this, so as you can tell, it's f made of full carbon, so the skin of the wing is made in carbon. The um, core of the wing, because the wing is not full of carbon, it's because it would be really heavy. The core of the wing is made out of Russell, so it's a material uh, used to make um, like helicopter blade or the wing of a real plane. It's it's used for many things like this. Uh, so yeah, this is the, all the wing and the tails are made, and the fuselage is made out of carbon only, and it's hollow. So it's made in the mold with a lot of pressure, all this thing to make something stiff and rigid and strong, all this thing. And the weight of this tiny thing is amazingly low. Uh, it's super lightweight, it's around 125 to 130 grams only, ready to fly with all the radio gear, which I will show you in a minute and like this, so ready to fly Oh, it fly! Because it's a glider You know, it has no motor in the front or in the back or anywhere, it's not a jet So, oh, does it fly? It's really simple, it uses the gravity as a motor So, as it fall, it will go forward and it glide What? is the main thing about F3K and DLG. So it's two names for the same thing, but one is for the international contest and one is more for only in English speaker. So no F3K, it's a term for all around the world. So this tiny thing, it how oh it works? It works with a radio. So I will show it to you right now. Like this. Okay. And Servos. So what is servos? Servos are these tiny things, as you can tell here, with uh, these little black, black blocks with uh, little yellow nuggets. Um, these things are moving. So yeah, you can see it, but it moves with electricity. So you can take a look right there. So this is a receiver. Which, which receives uh, information uh, that sends a radio. Above it, it's a LiPo, so lithium polymer um, battery. So only one cell, so it's 3.7 volts. It's like a, in a cell phone. It's, yeah, something like this. And so four servos because you will see that in a minute. These little servos, as we saw, move this part, so this is aerons because it's on the wing, so L, and because in French it's L, so yeah, I'm French for people who don't know. So this is the aerons, so two on the wing for make this movement. Okay, this is the stabilizer, so it makes the glider move like this. Okay, up and down because this part move obviously and this is the rudder or fin it has new name I don't know why but this thing move sideways as you can tell and it makes the glider move like this 
Okay? So this is how this glider work. You launch it because yeah, maybe I did not say that already. Did you do you see that? This little carbon plate because everything is made out of carbon. You grab it with your finger like this and you launch it. There is a video of my launch. What about this launch? So uh, maybe you don't know, but I am a world-class pilot. So uh, I did already two world championship and I'm going to my third world championship in 2019. So yeah, I'm uh, a high level pilot, I guess. So this little plate make you able to launch your glider. Uh, the best of the world uh, launch it around 70 to 80 meters high. So it's really, really high. It makes possible to fly something like three minutes without any thermals. So yeah, I didn't talk about thermals yet, but I will do it right now. So without thermals, this glider fly around three minutes. But sometime we need to make 10 minutes flight in contest. Oh, maybe you have seen already some some birds spinning like this turning in the in the air in the sky and you don't know what the heck are they doing they are simply thermaling so the so thermal is a bubble or a tube of air but hot air this this air right there is hotter than uh, the air around it, so it climbs, it goes up. So with our glider, we try to do like these birds, to find hot air, hotter air than the ambient air, and climb with this air, like the bird, exactly like them. And this is the difficult part about DLG, F3K. It's try to find the thermal to manage to do some target time which are predict before you should do it so like uh, in contest we have some tasks to do so task is the name to things to do and sometimes so it's nearly always on 10 minutes uh, task we should make like five flight of two minutes so for this particular task and some others, you should do this, which is named quick turnarounds. Yeah, quite impressive, because two minutes is not that difficult to do the most of time, only in super windy condition it's super hard, but most of time it's fairly easy. We make a task really more difficult, like uh, two times four minutes or one time five minutes something like this and it's quite hard to do so the beauty of this sport is to be able to do some long flight using only the air movement to manage to go up and this is just so nice so this is the first episode of a long series I hope uh, you liked it, so if you liked it, why not to subscribe to follow the rest of this series of episodes. That's it for me for today, I hope you learned something, if you have some questions just ask it in the comment down below. And that's it for me for today, see you next time, bye!